This is Katie. She fell in love with Vince. So we've been together for about 11 years. The day I asked you out, I told you I loved you. After nine years of marriage, Vince told Katie he was also Natasha. Initially, it's a bit of a shock. Oh yeah, that's the right way today. Definitely. She's gonna love that. With Vince coming out as gender fluid, some have been quick to pass judgment on the couple. There have been some people that have called our relationship wrong. And is it really fair to judge someone just based on, you know, how they look? And with Vince spending half his time as Natasha, public judgment isn't the only issue they have to contend with. I'm not physically attracted in any way to a Natasha. I'm attracted to men. Uh, chili paste in your ramen? I do not want chili paste in my ramen. You're gonna ruin the ramen. Chili paste goes in ramen. What are you talking about? We were high school sweethearts. You like sweet, I like spicy, okay? That's why this thing works. The day I asked you out, I told you I loved you and I wanted to, us to start dating. You were very, very determined. You had to hit the tongue. <laughs> so we've been together for about 11 years. Both have a lot of the same sort of like nerdy interests, like Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, Westworld, Game of Thrones. Mm. Eating that like a Neanderthal. Nom, 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 nom. Despite having a lot of shared interests, there's one big lifestyle choice that they don't share. Welcome to Natasha's room. Newly out as gender fluid, Vince's female persona, Natasha, is now also part of their relationship. This is where I kind of get myself all glammed up and ready to go. Jewelry, great sign, be badass with a good ass. I came out as gender fluid um, December of 2018, so a little over a year ago. Um, it, it was a long time coming. I felt, felt that way for a long time, but didn't quite know how to express it. So I came out to my wife. She accepted it super well. I can't say like perfectly because there were some like growing pains that we had to get used to. Initially, it's a bit of a shock just because I really didn't know what gender fluid meant. I definitely don't think that identifying as gender fluid is, you know, something that I would ever identify as. I can understand the words he's saying, but as far as that feeling, I don't necessarily get it. Um, and I don't personally connect with that. It's just not me. For me, gender fluid is a weird term. I don't feel like it accurate, like 100% defines who I am, but it's by far the closest thing that's out there. For me, I identify as gender fluid because I look at it as if it were a rainbow. You have male on one side, you have female on the other. And from day to day, you go somewhere on this rainbow. Some days you might be all the way to the left and you might be all the way male, or some days you might be all the way female. Some days you might be in between. Today is definitely a Natasha day. I definitely feel more like Natasha than I do like Vince. On days when I'm Vince, if I try to put on a dress or I try to put like makeup on or stuff like that, it doesn't work and I have to go 100% back to male. It definitely keeps me on my toes. It keeps Katie on her toes. <gasps> For Katie, having her husband frequently identifying as female has been something they've both had to get used to. And not everything in their relationship stays the same when Vince is Natasha. Katie has, ex has expressed to me multiple times that she is not lesbian. She does not like girls. She is 100% into me as a man. No, I'm not physically attracted in any way to a Natasha. I'm attracted to men. I can appreciate when she does a really great job on her makeup because I am not much of a makeup person. I can appreciate when she's got a really cute outfit on or when she's looking good, but physical attraction, not so much, but it's more about what's on the inside. I always love giving myself a kiss in the mirror. Tells me I've done a good job. Time for the wig. I think I'm gonna do this one today. This one has bangs, which is really cool. Oh yeah, that's the right wig today. Definitely, she's gonna love that. 
She likes Natasha as kind of more as a natural girl. I'm thinking this look is pretty much complete. Gotta look flawless. Having come out to his wife, it was then time for Vince to reveal Natasha to friends and family as well. Some of the family has been really accepting and really great, and some of the family has not been. And it, it's kind of how it goes. Uh, they're going to have their own reactions. I'm not going to dwell on it. With Vince coming out, my parents had some reservations. They sat me down, wanted to have a conversation with me, just try to see what my thoughts and feelings towards the situation was. And they expressed their thoughts and feelings to me. but. I feel like I'm the most open-minded of the family. I thought it was a little bit of a surprise. It's, it's something that, that I never expected. We're still getting to know Natasha because uh, it's a different personality than Vince. So I feel like Natasha's still new to the group. I feel like they're two different people, but they're starting to blend. Cheers. Really, the only times that I've ever had anything bad said to me has come through like online, like on Instagram. There have been some people that have called our relationship wrong or think that I'm being horrible to her. I just tend to just delete the message right away and that's it. Our relationship has changed a lot, but it's changed for the better. I feel like I can truly be myself with her now, whereas before I always felt like I had to hide. With that dress? You think? Yes. I thank God that I have her. I was able to avoid like the shopping at Forever 21 and buying all the preteen stuff and the stuff that wouldn't look good on me. A lot of people confuse the gender with the sexuality. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of people think, oh, you're a girl, so you must like boys at that time. No. And is it really fair to judge someone just based on, you know, how they look? I mean, it's people, what do people wear? Like, who cares? Is it really that important? Part of me misses the old Vince mostly because it'd be nice if it was easier around family again. Um, but I mean, I still have the person that I married and that I'm in love with. And obviously being gender fluid means that we're going to be different from a typical couple, but it really it comes down to the fact that we don't ever feel the need to hide from each other. And I feel like that's something truly special that sets us apart from so many others. Whether it's Natasha or Vince waking up to Katie on any given day, the one thing that doesn't change is their love for one another. Well, we're still together, so haters can hate. All we want to do is love each other. I'm not on a mission to be like, oh, you must accept me. Because honestly, I, I need to accept the fact that people aren't going to accept me. So for those people who judge me for what I do, you're gonna do whatever you're gonna do. I'm out here living my best life. I'm out here loving my wife and loving myself. And that's key.